the six of wands victory progress and success is what is to be had now you libra get victory progress and success from whatever's happening for you here to the ace of wands an inspired passionate new beginning in your life to the prince of pentacles that is stable solid secure and going to go the long haul the eight of pentacles in reverse this is talking about a lack of ambition a lack of focus to the page of wands in reverse frustration delays whether you've been waiting for this relationship to come back around again or whether this is new love you have found yourself being frustrated and perhaps a lack of motivation to even engage in in a relationship well, the King of Pentacles comes on top of it and says, your, your knight in shining armor is headed in your direction, Libra. Headed in your direction. Okay? All right, you guys, let's jump into this. It is imperative that you understand that this is a general tarot card reading. And the only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. Hey, Libra, Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How the heck are you? This is a general reading for you, Libra. The way it's going to work is that I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it. It'll mostly be me mumbling around. As I clarify, we'll sew together a story, okay? Usually, I will go up to the top and read it um, fluidly as, as one big, huge story unless the reading works itself out as I clarify. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But if need be, I will go back to the top and clarify everything for everybody. Let's just jump right into this reading and see what the cards have to say for Libra today. Okay, let's do that. All right. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Libra with me, and Libra wants to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know for Libra, and what do they need to know? What's coming towards Libra? What does Libra need to understand? How, what do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how does Libra navigate the situation for their best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages but to explain them as well spirit <laughs> please continue to arrange yourself they're trying to flip out everywhere please continue to arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring libra the messages that they need to do to know the general overall forecast for the theme for the thread that could be going through libra's lives at the moment Spirit, I'm going to shuffle just a couple more times. I'll cut three times and I'll begin to pull off the top. Please continue to arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Libra the messages that they need to know. Right. There. I think that works. All right. We got the handy to handy camera up here. Let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. And we'll go one, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Holy schmoly. All right, let's see. Could be dealing with Taurus, huh, Libra? The Prince of Swords in reverse. Let me put these where you guys can see them in this camera up here. The Prince of Swords in reverse. Um, this is a card about mental chaos. It's a card about no communication. It's a card about um, overthinking sometimes. The Seven of Cups in reverse. This is either fantasy and illusion or diversionary tactics. Oops. The Six of Wands, victory, progress, success. The Prince of Pentacles, long time, steady. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to build, work on something, a lack of focus, a lack of ambition. The Prince of Wands, inspired action. The Five of Wands, conflict, competition. The Princess of Cups in the middle of your reading, talking about creation, possibly some kind of message. The Three of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork, a lack of collaboration, not negotiable. The lovers. There you go. King of Swords, some truth. 
decisions, the tower in reverse, personal transformation. Sometimes it's about averting disaster. To the sun. Yep, you guys can still see those. The sun. Happiness, success, vitality, justice. You showing up in your own reading, Libra. Justice. Very nice. To the hermit. Soul searching, introspection. The queen of pentacles. To the emperor. Holy schmoly. Six of cups in reverse. This is about stuck in, stuck in the past. It's about unrealistic. To the death, an ending a death card, an ending a change and a transformation. To the three of cups and the princess of pentacles. Can you guys still see those? Yeah. Whoa, the alchemist. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see if we start repeating, okay? So we have the king of pentacles in reverse to the nine of swords. Resistance with the hangman in reverse. Lack of progress with the four of swords to the ace of wands. Now there's a new beginning. The empress in reverse to the princess of wands in reverse to the six of pentacles. The story is repeating. So I'm stopping with the alchemist, okay? We actually could take these, right? We could take these right here, but it's just repeating. But you know what? For shits and giggles, I'll just put them out there and perhaps we can address them as we move forward. All right, you guys. So deep thoughts with Dana. I'm Dana, right? Like I said in the intro there, sometimes I do and say things that not everybody agrees with. And that's okay because you know what? This is my house and I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And that means if you don't want to see me vape, you should look away right now. Okay. Or drink. Vodka. Oh, I'm kidding. It's tea. <laughs> it's oolong tea. <laughs> I don't drink. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what this is all about. We're going to clarify with the good old fashioned rider weight. So simple, so profound. All right. The Prince of Swords in reverse, right? This is a lack of progress. This is, this is no communication, things not working out the way that you want to. To the Seven of Cups in reverse, illusion, fantasy, right? Look, temperance, <laughs> beautiful temperance. Ooh, that's nice. This is a good reading, Libra. This is a good reading. I have a client in Italy, Floriana. Floriana, this is for you, baby. This is for you. All right, ready? Let's see. It's really not for Floriana, but I can see the way that these cards go, that this is what she and I have been talking about for years. Okay? All right, let's do this. Okay, so temperance, balance, patience, purpose. Six of Wands, victory, progress, success to the Ace of Wands, no less. The Prince of Pentacles, long time, stable, into the future. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, where there was a lack of motivation, a lack of, of, of inspiration. Look, the Page of Wands in reverse to the king of pentacles in reverse, right? Page of wands in reverse, frustration delays, the eight of pentacles in reverse, right? A lack of ambition, a lack of focus, a lack of motivation. Boom. Now there's the king of pentacles. I told you, right? The, the, um, uh, the hierophant was on the bottom of the deck. Um, is it? Yeah. Yeah. See, look, the hierophant, right? Bottom of the deck, king of pentacles. You may be dealing with Taurus, okay? Or an earth sign of some sort. You do not have to be, okay? You do not have to be. The zodiac signs mean absolutely nothing. When I do my personal readings, I can tell you your whole freaking life story. And I don't even have to know when your birthday is, okay? All right. They mean nothing. Nevertheless, the King of Pentacles is talking about somebody that is going to hold title in your life. The Prince of Wands. Look at that inspired action whoa inspired action to the nine of pentacles in reverse when you thought it was an overinvestment of your time and effort you thought it was a waste right <coughs> excuse me you thought it was a waste of time the knight of pentacles it's been like this for a long time to these seven of pentacles in reverse this is um, a lack of success a lack of progress so this is either saying that you've given up on love right? You've given up on the hopes that anything could ever happen 
in the realm of love. Um, perhaps this is someone coming out of your past, okay? Just saying. It could go either way. We'll see how the reading goes. But the Prince of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse says that you've given up all hope. The Five of Wands. Because of so much conflict to the Three of Pentacles, there could possibly be no teamwork and collaboration. But guess what? The Princess of Cups in the center of this spread says different. The Princess of Cups says that there is creation happening here, Libra. Creation happening between you and another person. So Spirit, is this representing the energy of creation? Or is this representing a message that is coming through? You know what? I'm not going to take those because I wasn't focusing. I wasn't ready. Um, Princess of Cups. So Spirit, is this a message? Is this a message or is this representing the creation of something in this spread? Tell me about this Princess of Cups right here. To the Three of Pentacles in reverse, no less, talking about a lack of teamwork, a lack of collaboration, but we have it in the upright right here, talking about teamwork and collaboration, right? Tell me about this Princess of Cups, please. Yep, look. Princess of Cups to the Princess of Cups or the Princess of Cups to the Page of Cups. They're the same thing, right? Um, okay, so it's double confirmation that there is both a message and creation happening in this situation right here. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse talks about where there was great loss, there is now recovery. The Lovers... So this message is about love. It's about a relationship. Look to the Knight of Cups. Somebody comes in with feelings. Feelings, Libra. Somebody's going to offer you feelings, possibly even an apology. Wow. The King of Swords. Um, is this this person speaking their truth or is this the truth of Libra? Is this decisions right here? Justice. Somebody speaks their truth. Somebody speaks their truth and there is justice brought to this situation. Second time justice has been in this small spread right here. The card of Libra. Honesty, truth, fairness, accountability on top of the King of Swords. This is a massive, look to the tower in reverse, a massive personal transformation that someone has had here. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower, please. The Nine of Swords, right? Lots of anxiety, lots of despair, hopelessness. Because remember up here, you gave up hope that any of this could ever work out. Let's see. The Three of Cups in reverse, a third party situation. The Empress, that is you as well. You are in this reading three times. The Empress to the Ace of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So you... Libra have had a massive amount of anxiety about a third party situation. You have maintained your self-respect and your integrity through this entire situation. The Ace of Cups holding on to hope that perhaps there could be a resurrection of love in a situation or the resurrection of love like all the way around. Um, new love because this could really go either way we're going to go back and talk about this in a second this could really go either way this could be somebody that you are that is resurrecting is somebody that you're resurrecting this relationship with somebody coming to you offering you feelings offering you an apology and resurrecting this relationship this could also be new love coming into your life a new king of pentacles taking position on the throne next to you being the empress libra taking position on the throne um, when you gave up a new love because there's been so much anxiety about a third party situation that happened in a past relationship that wounded you so badly that you just gave up on everything. 
But now the sun is coming in. Hold, let me back up. So the, high, the, the Empress to the Ace of Cups, right? Holding on to hope that there could be love again. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. A cycle in your life that um, a blockage, right? A blockage that kept you from moving forward. That blockage is either somebody that you were involved with was in a third party situation. And now they're coming back to you explaining, apologizing and wanting love with you. Or a past relationship wounded you because of a third party situation. And that has been your blockage from that point forward, giving up on the hopes of new love. Yep, yep, yep. Look, the sun, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Hope, faith, purpose, that's the star. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited about this damn reading. <laughs> Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Dana declares it. The sun, happiness, success, and vitality. To justice. You get your justice. You get what's coming to you. You get what you have been manifesting in your life, Libra. Tell me about the hermit right here. Tell me about the hermit. What is this hermit about? The Page of Pentacles, doing some soul searching and some introspection. This is you being holed up inside of yourself. Page of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands in reverse. What you're doing in this hermit energy is soul searching and introspection about this new offer that has come to you. The Queen of Wands in reverse tells me two things. It tells me either this person has ditched their third party situation and they're coming back around again, or if it's new love, this Queen of Wands in reverse is talking about your needs being met, right? Soul searching and introspection inside the hermit energy about the manifestation of a new opportunity, wondering if your needs can be met because you're so wounded from what happened back here, right? The Queen of Pentacles to the Emperor. Look at that. We have the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, which is um, the ultimate domestic partnership. And then we have the Empress to the Emperor. That's beautiful. This Queen of Pentacles right here uh, tells me that if you have, if this is the resurrection of a relationship, you are now going to reassume your title in this person's life. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. If this is new love, you are going to assume title in this person's life to the emperor, this person, oh my God, look to the ace of wands, to the emperor. Um, this is where you are, 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 are having an inspired, passionate new beginning with someone that you believe to be very, very significant for your future. Okay. Six of cups in reverse. You've been stuck in the past for a long time. Again, whether this is a past relationship that you were hurt in that is now being resurrected or if this is new love coming in because you gave up in the past, you've been stuck in the past for a long time, but spirit comes in with major arcana death and says no more. No more. This cycle of your life is over. There's an ending to the way that things were and a beginning to the way that things will be. To the three of cups. This is reuniting, but it's also just straight up celebration, coming together with someone, getting to know someone and celebrating new love. Princess of Pentacles, right? The manifestation of something new to the alchemist. Manifestation of what you have been manifesting into your life for a long time. King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody who used to hold title in your life, but doesn't anymore. The Nine of Swords talking about the anxiety and the despair. It's the same Nine of Swords that's back here, okay? It's the same anxiety, same despair. The Hangman in reverse. There's been resistance, stalling, delays for a long time. Either this is resistance, stalling, and delays for this person to come back to you, or it's resistance and stalling and delays because you were so hurt by what happened in the past relationship that you have been guarded when it comes to new love. The Four of Swords in reverse, talking about um, mentally restless, a lack of progress. It's been a long time, Libra, since you have felt this way about someone. What else, Spirit? What can you say here? 
What can you say here, Spirit? What can you say? Anything else that you can say about this real quick? Anything else that you can say? Anything else? Four of Cups in reverse, right? Missed opportunity. The lovers in reverse. Broken, breakup. Uh, misalignment of values to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is, again, either your old relationship that has kept you hurt and you gave up on love. Or this is the old relationship that's coming back where you used to hold title and you don't anymore. Because now that this is all coming through, right, you're really thinking, man, do I even really want this again? Do I really want this again? Because the pain from the past go-round was so bad. Look at that. To the Two of Cups. That's what's on offer here. A unified relationship. A unified love relationship. It doesn't have to be lover though, okay? It could be somebody who hurt you real bad in the past and you're real guarded to reinteract with this person. Or this could be, um, um, it could be work. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be anybody that hurt you in the past and is now re-emerging into your life. It could be a, a wounding from the past that has kept you super guarded and now something new wants to come in and you're still super guarded, but you're super excited about it as well. Anything else? Yep, look, strength. Yep, determined. What else? Anything else that needs to be said here? Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Anything else? That's it. That's all Spirit wants to say about this whole spread right here. All right, we're going to take that at face value. Oh, look, the freaking Ten of Cups. Seven of Wands in reverse was underneath it. This is overwhelming giving up, right? But Ten of Cups is on offer right here. Ten of Cups is on offer. Ace of Swords, there's some truth that has been spoken in this situation. Wow, Libra. Wow, what are we at? 20 minutes? Maybe we can just go back and do a quick recap real quick, okay? Intermission. Pause. Mm. Love that. That's that bubble tea, right? With the little tapioca balls in the bottom. Oh, it's delicious. If y'all have never tried it, seek out some kind of tea place in your area and get the bubble tea. It's amazing. All right. And if you don't want to see this, go ahead and close your eyes for a second, okay? All right. Okay, if we start... <laughs> We start back at the top, Libra. I recently quit smoking cigarettes. Um, I did. I am cigarette free for it's three weeks now. Cigarette free for three weeks. And I will not go back to smoking cigarettes. And the way I quit smoking was I converted over to this vape thing, which I know it's not healthy either, but I'll tell you what, it's a hell of a lot better than cigarettes. So I don't want to hear any beef about it in the comments, okay? This is my house and I do what I want to do here and I'm going to vape. Okay. Prince of Swords in reverse. This is talking to us about no communication, no no forward movement in any kind of congruity. Is that even a word? No, no forward movement in any kind of gelling of the situation. Seven of cups in reverse. Fantasy and illusion, right? You're thinking that this is never going to happen for me. Never going to happen. Temperance comes in and talks about your patience, right? It also talks about purpose and divine timing and healing. So patience, Purpose, balance, moderation, healing. The situation is healed. Whether it is new love coming in, you are being healed in order to accept this new love or the resurrection of an old relationship. The Six of Wands. Victory, progress, and success is what is to be had now. You, Libra, get victory, progress, and success from whatever's happening for you here. To the Ace of Wands, an inspired, passionate new beginning in your life. To the Prince of Pentacles, that is stable, solid, secure, and going to go the long haul. 
the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is talking about a lack of ambition, a lack of focus. To the Page of Wands in reverse, frustration, delays. Whether you've been waiting for this relationship to come back around again, or whether this is new love, you have found yourself being frustrated and perhaps a lack of motivation to even engage in, in a relationship. Well, the King of Pentacles comes on top of it and says, your, your knight in shining armor is headed in your direction, Libra. Headed in your direction. Okay? The Prince of Wands. They're headed in your direction and they are coming in fast and hot. Okay? Fast and hot. Do curb yourself just a little bit here. Don't go jumping into bed with this person right off the get-go, okay? Don't do that. Just just enjoy the situation for a second. Don't go hopping right into bed with this person, okay? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Overinvestment of time and effort. The Knight of Pentacles for a long time been waiting on this for a long time to the seven of pentacles in reverse this is a lack of success and a lack of reward okay this says that you never again it's right underneath temperance right it says that you 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 gave up on on new love or you gave up on this person this relationship five of wands lots of conflict why because of competition of some sort to the three of pentacles this is one too many cooks in the kitchen right here this Three of Pentacles is representing not just teamwork and collaboration. This Three of Pentacles is representing that this person right here that's coming back to you had one too many people in their energy field, right? Hence, conflict and competition with the Five of Swords. This is also saying that if you were hurt in a past relationship these are your residual um guards that you have up right um because somebody did hurt you with a third party situation in the past but lo and behold the princess of cups in the center of your reading this whole reading revolves around new creation clarified by the page of cups there is a message of creation coming into you libra the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I think this card is talking about this person not being in a third party situation anymore. To the lovers and wanting to, to solidify a love relationship with you. If it's new love, it's about you being super guarded about a third party situation. It's you looking at the Facebook and the, the Facebook, looking at their Facebook page and scouring it for um, any any kind of indication at all that they are screwing around with other people, right? You're very guarded about the whole third party situation thing. Knight of Cups. This is an apology. This is someone coming in with their cup of love and saying, Libra, I am in touch with my emotions, I'm in touch with my intuition, and I am prepared to move forward in this situation in a calm, cool, collected, emotionally mature manner. That's what that's about. The King of Swords. It's truth is spoken. In this Knight of Cups, truth is spoken. Justice. Libra. It brings in justice, it's honesty, it's truth, it's fairness, it's accountability. That's what's spoken with the Knight of Cups. That's what's received with the Knight of with the King of Swords. The Tower in reverse. This is um, this person telling you that they have had a personal transformation. It's right underneath conflict and competition. It's right underneath the indication of a third party situation. This person has had a personal transformation. I do believe this is also Libra being a little guarded. Um, averting disaster is also a definition for this card, right? It's about being a little guarded, okay? Twofold. This person has had a personal transformation, and Libra is still a bit guarded. Nine of Swords, painful lessons, extreme anxiety. Three of Cups in reverse, about a third party situation. The Empress, the card of Libra, card of Taurus as well. Um, this Empress represents you, Libra, to the Ace of Cups, um, being offered a new beginning in love. The Empress is representing not only Libra, but it's representing your 
self-respect. It's maintain. It's representing how you have maintained integrity through this whole situation. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse talks about a huge blockage to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a huge blockage that has caused a lot of loss in your life, whether it's a re, re, uh, redo of an old relationship or whether it's the incoming um, new relationship. You're very guarded because you've lost a lot in the past to someone who had a third party situation, the sun. But this message right here, this message of creation, this knight of cups, this lovers, the king of swords, justice, this personal transformation, it brings you great happiness, Libra. Great, great, great happiness and justice. You are vindicated and it brings justice to the situation for you. The Hermit, finding yourself doing some soul searching and some introspection to the Page of Pentacles about this new opportunity. Queen of Wands in reverse is either saying that this person's personal transformation over here with the Tower in reverse, um, they have let go of a third party situation, or this is saying with averting disaster and Libra being very careful about how they proceed forward, that you're concerned that perhaps your needs can't be met in this situation, whether it's because you're holding on to lingering pain or, or um, you just don't do, you're just not ready to move into a big fat new relationship yet. The Queen of Pentacles comes in and says, you want this. You do. You are going to hold title in someone's life. To the Emperor, someone that you want to take into your future, somebody that you see well worth being vulnerable for. The Ace of Wands, this is the manifestation of a brand new passionate beginning. The Six of Cups in reverse, you're stuck in the past. You have been stuck in the past up to this point, thinking that new love or the resurrection of an old relationship is completely and totally unrealistic for you. But death comes in and spirit says, no, the way that things were will end and your life will now transform into the way things will be. To the Three of Cups in the upright, this is about reuniting. This is also about just straight up celebration. It's about dating. It's about getting together, talking about things and learning about each other. The Princess of Pentacles manifesting a brand new beginning. To the Alchemist, no less. The Magician manifesting what it is that you have been calling into your life. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The brokenness. Someone used to hold title in your life, but they don't anymore. To the Nine of Swords, all of the anxiety and the pain, the hangman in reverse, all of the delays, the resistance, the Four of Swords in reverse, mentally restless, lack of progress, missed opportunity with this Four of Cups in reverse. This is also about being apathetic, which goes right back to um, you were so hurt by somebody in the past that had a third party situation that you're like apathetic about love, about new relationships. You're like, meh. We'll see, right? The lovers in reverse, misalignment of values, right? Not so sure you want to let yourself be vulnerable. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? Because you used to at one point hold title in someone's life, but you don't anymore. And that's the pain that is either keeping you from entering into a new relationship or the pain <coughs> associated with the regeneration of an old relationship. Two of Cups, though, love, a love relationship, but it doesn't have to be mean romantic love, okay? It's a significant relationship, a very important relationship in your life. Two Strength is now strengthened. Ten of Cups, and it brings happiness and harmony into your life. Seven of Wands in reverse, where you were overwhelmed and you had given up, boom, Ace of Swords, truth is spoken, and your whole life is changing. That is your reading, Libra. I do hope you enjoyed it. I do hope that I helped you somehow, some way. If you would like your personal cards read, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.